other, it's April the 6th. And you can see it's quite windy here. We're at Cark, the Cessna 172. Note the windsock behind us. Blowing straight out, it must be a 35-40 knot headwind. It's uh, in the cockpit, it's quieter and warmer. And uh, I have, uh, uh, we're in the Lake District. Cark is an ex-RAF base, uh, at the southern tip of the Lake District, just along from um, uh, um, Grove over Sands. Grove over Sands, I don't think I'm saying that correctly. Uh, never mind. Uh, we're just uh, north of Morecambe Bay. And a few years ago, nothing to do with the flying, but a few years ago we watched one of our sons uh, compete in the uh, Man vs. Lakes. Uh, it's, it's like a 50 kilometre run. Uh, but they start off from Silverton running across Morecambe Bay. Of course the tide's out and it's guided, it's quite safe. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get in the air. Uh, we should get up off the ground fairly quickly. To take the parking brake off. And off we go. You can see some of the scenery here to the, to the left, the uh, aircraft. Uh, this is um, compliments of Neil Birch. This airfield has been considerably updated. You'll notice there's a fire engine over there by that shed. Uh, and there you can see Morecambe Bay spreading out in front of us as we bank left low over the uh, holiday park. It's supposed to be a holiday park. It's fairly good if you don't look too closely. And there we are, we're, we're more or less pointing across at Silverton now. Uh, I must be running, I'm going too slowly. Very nearly stalled. That's a bit better. So we're just going to take a quick circuit around the airfield and take in some of the scenery and uh, land back on the runway. You can just uh, see the runway down there that we took off from. And it should be a very easy landing in, in this. Well, the, the wind is coming directly down the runway, almost directly down the runway. So yeah, there's not a lot throwing you from side to side. It's just. Um, so we'll just put some flaps out now and see if we can make a landing on the runway. It should be fairly easy because the ground speed will be about 30 miles an hour instead of the usual 60 and because of the headwind. So we've got a nice comfortable 70 knots, more than that. little bit of blue sky up there and you can see to the right there's some uh, old airfield type buildings, RAF type buildings, some caravans and uh, there's a skydiving school over there as well. We should be able to see a bit better as we get closer. So it's a nice, uh, easy, very soft landing past that windsock still blowing straight out. And there's the caravans. If I keep going straight while we look to the left, look to the right, I mean. Be good if I knew my left from my right. Oh, I'll come to a gentle stop in a moment. And uh, you can see the um, the uh, what purports to be the original control tower. I don't think that's quite right. The original control tower, just behind that caravan there on the right. Let's just step out of the aircraft and uh, zoom around and have a look at it. And it almost exactly where we took off from. Okay. Flaps up. There you can see, between the caravans, there is, uh, if I can control this, there's a sort of modern end to what might have been an old looking control tower. That makes it much more interesting. And the um, Neil Birch scenery is 
actually much more accurate, I think. Much more interesting than the default you see if you come and fly from car. So, thanks for watching.